Hello, I'm Elle Edwards, the Mindset Geek from GoToL.com, and welcome back. Now, in today's episode, we are thinking about what is going to stop you, or more specifically, what might today and the next few days look like if nothing could stop you. Now, as I already mentioned in the Mindset Minute today, we have that quote from Henry Ford, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Now, I know that we listen to quotes like this and we go, yeah, okay, fair enough, I know, I just have to believe it and it will be so. But then we wake up and we have our lives and the reality, what it is to be us. And sometimes we can feel a little bit stuck because there's us here in this point in time. And we can imagine a future over there somewhere where all this stuff we wanna do, I mean, we're thinking this month about writing our book, so maybe, maybe you can visualize a future where you've written your book way over there somewhere. But then you're here and you've gotta deal with real life. And then you have someone like me that shows up and says, you've just gotta believe you can do it. And maybe that feels a little bit flat. I hear you. There's a reason why I wrote my very first novel in four parts. I released it as four separate novellas because I'd been talking for the longest time about writing fiction. I'm going to write a book, I'm going to write a book and every December and January it would be on my list of things to do. One of my goals, yeah, this is the year I'm going to write fiction, woohoo! And it never happened. And so I understand where you're coming from when you say, oh, okay, just believing it is not enough. I get it. However, as much as I get it, I also think it's completely and utterly true. And there's a sciencey reason behind it. It's that wonderful, amazing, reticular activating system in your brain again. Yellow car syndrome. If you're sitting there going, oh, not again, L. Yes, yet again. Rem- reminding you in case, if you're not sitting there going, oh, not again, L, then clearly you haven't heard me get excited about this before. It is one of my favorite pet subjects ever. And it has so many applications and so many times where it actually is true. So the reticular activating system, as a quick reminder for the people who are not groaning and saying, oh, L, I've heard this before. The reticular activating system is a part in your brain that filters in information and details that are important to you. Now then, when you remind yourself and believe and step into each brand new day, determined that nothing can stop you, knowing that you really can do this, it signals to your brain that, okay, that's really important to him. That's really important to her. She really wants to do this. And what does your brain do? It filters in more examples of making it true and it filters in opportunities. You notice things that you maybe wouldn't have noticed before. You can walk down the street and it can be the exact same experience it will have been the week before, but because suddenly your brain is flooding you with these new pieces of information based on what is important to you, suddenly you notice things. I gave you that example before. Um, I think it was last week. I gave the example of when I was writing fiction. I am still writing fiction, in case my dad is watching. Yes, Danielle will be finished by Christmas. I am still writing fiction, but it's not my top priority right now. Sharing these, these podcast episodes, doing this mindset work has got my main focus right now. However, as I mentioned at the end of last week, when I was writing fiction full time and giving that my attention, the number of times that um, ideas would pop into my mind, either characters or plot points or solutions to plot points because I, I had w- written myself into a little bit of a hole. It was extraordinary the number of times that happened. Contrast with now, when I'm focusing on the mindset work and the opportunities that I've had, the people who've reached out to me, the, the people I get to chat with, it's just been amazing. I'm blown away by it. Your brain will filter in the things that it deems are important to you. And so those things that you mull over, those things you think about, whether they're negative or whether they're positive, your brain will filter in more of the same. So I wanted to encourage you and remind you of this because as you're preparing, and I mean preparing up here in your brain, it's October, we're, we're, as I've already mentioned, we're gonna be spending the whole of October mentally preparing you for writing your book. And it begins with considering and imagining the possibility that nothing can stop you. 
and going from going, yeah, okay, Elle, to really believing it. And yes, I'm, in case you're listening to this rather than watching it, my arms are moving and, you know, that firing you up. Because the more empowered and more passionate and the more emotion that you can get behind this belief that you are going to write your book in November, the easier it will be. Yes, you'll still need to put your bum in the chair, unless you've got a standing desk like me, but you'll still need to show up and do the work. But believe it or not, and I know this will sound crazy right now, but it's won or lost up here. If you step into that new day believing that nothing will stop you, that you are going to write your book, you are going to write your book. And so I would be doing you a disservice if we didn't take some time today to put that idea out there so you can start thinking about it, considering it, imagining a possibility where nothing can stop you, where everything goes right, where every single day you show up to your desk and you put in the words. Imagining it will, will actually help it happen. You've still got to do this or this. <laughs> I'm wiggling my fingers and pretending to write in case you're listening to this. <laughs> you've still got to do the work. But there have been actual scientific studies. You've probably heard the one before. If you're, if you're kind of into this mindset stuff, you will have come across the study, I imagine, where they had three different groups. They had the control group. Um, they were shooting hoops. So the control group did nothing. They just carried on as normal. Then they had another group that um, actually practiced shooting hoops. And then they had a third group that imagined themselves shooting hoops and getting the, the ball through the, through the net. And as the study tells us, the people who actually imagined themselves getting those goals, shots, however you describe it in proper terms, they did as well as the people who had actually put in the practice. Now, I will add the, the, the caveat. Now, I don't know if that study is actually true. We hear these stories on the internet and they get repeated and then we take them as read. But it sounds reasonable and the actual principle behind it michael jordan for example talked about you know that the visualization part of it it actually does happen because your brain doesn't really know the difference between action and imagining action and so you really can by rehearsing by actually imagining closing your eyes and imagining yourself showing up at your desk and doing the work it will become easier to do that to create those habits so that your book will actually get written Okay, so your homework for today is I just want you to spend some time imagining that future you where nothing is going to stop you, where you really can do it. Easy homework, using your brain, you're great at that. So give it a go, get ready for tomorrow, but give that a go because as loopy as it might sound to you, I don't care if you don't believe it to be true, as ridiculous as it sounds to you, you are rehearsing and you are making, taking that action today to help get your book written, even right now in October as you're mentally rehearsing. Okay, excellent, go and do it. In the meantime, I've been Elle from go to L.com and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.